Hey guys, let's talk about how to join and separate objects. So I'll show you with these two cubes right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one and make sure I apply the scale by pressing Control A and Scale, just so it's a scale of one on all sides. Then let's say I wanna put it right here and have it protruding from the other one. Then I can just select both of them and I can press Control J. That will make them one object like this. Now that works, but if we go into edit mode and if we go into we hit x-ray mode up here like this, we can see that we still have the geometry down here. And we may not want that. So I'm going to go out of x-ray mode real quick, and then let's separate it back so we can join it properly and without the extra geometry. So I'll go into tab, edit mode. I will select one of these vertices, and then I can press control L. That will select everything connected to it. Then I can press P, and I can separate my selection. And what that will do is now I have two objects like this. And as you'll notice, the origin of this cube is now set to the center of this object. So if I want to fix that, I can right click the big cube, right click, set origin, origin to geometry, and it's fixed. So another thing you can do when they're joined, so I'll go ahead and select them and press Control J again, is you can select everything by hitting A, press P, and then separate by loose parts. That will separate everything that isn't connected to each other in the geometry like this. So now let's join these together properly. So I'm gonna select the main cube, go over to modifiers, and add a Boolean modifier. Then the object, I'm gonna use the eyedropper and select this other guy. So what that's gonna do is currently it's such a difference and it's making a hole there. So if I hide this, we can see that there is now a hole being made in our cube. But we wanna join them together, we don't want it to make a hole. So what we can do is we can switch this to union, and that's gonna give us this. Now currently, to see what's happening, let's go ahead and apply the modifier and let's remove this extra piece because we have this extra now. We can, don't need it. We can delete it if we want to. Now that these are joined, we can go into edit mode, hit x-ray, and we see that there's not extra geometry down here and it's joined properly and we don't have extra polygons. So that's a quick way you can join objects together, the quick way and the correct way if you don't want to have any weird geometry happening and also how to separate them. Hopefully that helped you and thanks for watching. I'll see you in another one.